Hello everyone, today I want to show you what's on my toddler learning shelf. So as you may know, I am working with a one and a half year old who I set up a shelf and I put three or four learning activities per day. And today I want to focus on showing you some easy language activities that you can create on your own to help develop language and visual discrimination skills. So here we have an activity um, with these Safari LTD figurines that come uh, from the Safari LTD tube. It brings 12 common household pets. And so I love, you guys know that I am a Safari LTD fanatic. I love all of their figurines. They are so realistic. They are so well made and hand painted. So let me go ahead and show you the activity. So here I have these cards and I lay out four, I, I do four animals at a time. So I lay out these four cards and these are just laminated cards and I will post a uh, link in the description box where you can download these for free from my blog. And I lay out these four cards. And this is a great activity to teach language. So you go over the names, frog, corgi, turtle, goldfish. And then you have the child match. Goldfish, can you find the goldfish? The goldfish is orange. Can you find the goldfish? And you go over, and this is good visual discrimination practice. Turtle, can you find the turtle? Frog, look how realistic these look. They really are nice looking. Frog, corgi, little dog, can you find the corgi and she goes ahead and she matches and I only put four at a time um, just because her attention span right now is still immature and this is a good way to create language activities I buy these Safari LTD uh, tubes and I get pictures from the internet and I make these little cards these laminated cards um, I always get realistic pictures of each of the animals so that the child, if they were to see these animals in their own communities or in someone's home, they will be able to recognize them. And it brings 12 little animals, this Safari LTD Pets tube. It brings a hedgehog, it brings a cat. Hamster parakeet, iguana, look how much detail they have, that's why I like buying these for these language activities, rabbit, ferret, and white mouse. So, uh, that is the language activity that I have here. And I have so many of these that I make. I buy the Safari LTD tubes, and then I go on the internet and make these laminated cards. What I like about the laminated cards is that I can use these as flashcards as well. And I can put them on a ring and uh, use them as flashcards. So it serves both purposes. Um, Another activity that you can do with these is just have them play with them. Put them in a little basket. My three-year-old loves playing with these. I put them in a sensory bin for her, and she just loves pretend playing with these uh, little animals. So let me go ahead and show you the rest of the activities that I have on the shelf. Now that I'm still here, um, might as well just show you what else I have for today. Here I have a... Um, it's a fun motor school activity. I got this tray at the dollar uh, section in Target. And then my child, she's still one and a half, so she's still working on her fine motor skills. She takes the pom-poms and she puts them on e in each of these little spaces. This is good fine motor skills and also good one-to-one -one correspondence practice. One-to-one. -one. She can also take the spoon that I have here for her and try doing it with the spoon as well. It's a little bit more um, challenging as it requires more hand-eye coordination. Okay, I also have this Melissa and Doug sound puzzle. 
go with our animal theme today. And um, this is a really cute little puzzle. I guess the sound is not working right now. Maybe the batteries ran out. But it does make a sound for each animal. So I take out the puzzle pieces and I have her match. Right now, she still lays it on top like this. So she still doesn't particularly get it in the right way, but she's still doing the matching. And with time, she will be able to fit the pieces correctly. Now, this sound puzzle has been passed down from my other child, so it's been here a while. Uh, what else do we have for math? I have a simple little math activity here. I have a laminated index card. I just drew some circles, put the number four. Then in this little um, container, I have matching for her. So four, we're going over the number four today. This is four, four. Then I have these little foam, uh, foam figures, and she places them in the correct uh, spot here. One, two, we count, three, good fine motor skills practice, and four, and one-to-one -one correspondence. One-to-one -one correspondence is placing one of these little foam figures in each of the circles. And this is a pre-math activity that leads on to other things in math later on. Very easily just went ahead and took an index card and drew the number, drew the circles and the number four. I did cards one through five for these activities. And lastly, I have just a, a board book, first hundred words board book, and we will go over the different objects and animals and things in this um, board book. So this will develop more uh, vocabulary skills as well. I always have a board book every day that we do um, go over. Well, I hope you have enjoyed the activities. Uh, if you would like to get these cards, uh, I will post a link on the description box where you can get them. The Safari LTD tube, Pets tube, I got it on Amazon. You can also uh, get it on Amazon.com or you can go to the Safari LTD website and uh, look for your local distributor. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Until the next video. Bye.